the area. Nan Wynn is live with more on the project and its vision for the city's future. Hi, Nan. Good morning, guys. It is such a beautiful morning. We're out here on the Fifth Street Bridge, and I'm sure you're wondering why it's so empty. Well, other than the fact that it's, you know, quite early this morning, this isn't open yet, but that's about to change. We're going to talk a little bit about this. This is a part of the bigger picture. You guys mentioned it, a huge transformation happening in downtown, specifically with the rail yard. So I have the guys behind the big venture, uh, Denton and Allen, to tell us we want to know what the overview is. What can people expect? What's the timeline? So where do we start? So uh, we're sitting here on the Fifth Street Bridge, and on our left-hand side here we have the uh, Central Shops, uh, the future uh, entertainment district for uh, the rail yards. Uh, so by about 2018-19, we should start seeing some uh, activity there. And then beyond that is an 18-acre future Kaiser Hospital Medical Campus, and uh, we hope that's something we'll see some activity on by 2018-19 uh, as well. That's about a million square foot facility, so certainly a very catalytic uh, anchor for the project. And then as you kind of move from uh, west over to the east, we also have the Major League Soccer Stadium proposed on the far east side of the project that also we would hope to start around 2018 or 19. So uh, around that time frame, there should be a tremendous amount of activity within the rail yards and a lot uh, to look forward to. And we were just talking about it's going to be a city within a city, right? There's so much going on here. What are you most excited about seeing? Well, it does double the uh, footprint of downtown, and I think what we're most excited to see is just vertical development, seeing buildings in the sky and uh, people living here and people working, you know, working here and enjoying the place. And so I think that's the exciting part is that right now you can't really see that aspect of the project. So the vertical build, uh, the people living here, playing here, and working here is what we're really looking forward to seeing. And then, Alan, we were also talking about, again, kind of the bigger timeline. When do we see, we see things starting in 2018? What could the progression be? When do we expect to maybe finish? I know that's pretty far ahead in advance, but. Sure. Well, I think the first thing we're going to see, August 19th, these roads here will open up. So 5th Street, 6th Street, Rail Yards Boulevard connecting to 7th and out to Jaboom. August 19th, that will open, and that'll be, everyone should come out at 8.30 in the morning. I think it, it's a long-term project. It's probably a 20, 30-year build-out. But in the next, as Denton was saying, probably in the next three years or so, you'll see the entertainment retail district opening up with kind of round-the-clock entertainment happening there. I think the other thing, the innovation district. So if this was the innovation center of, of, of the country for a while, that, that's going to happen again with the office buildings going up and the businesses coming in. That's what I'm excited to see. I'm excited too. I'm also excited, like you said, if things look busy now, you can expect, you can imagine what they're going to look like once this project is done. It's going to be booming. So the other thing I'm very excited about is we now get the chance to go down into the old rail yards and get a little tour about that and see what it looks like now so we're prepared for what it looks like in the future. So stay tuned for that, you guys. We'll send it back oh, with me. Yeah. Love it. All right. Thanks. Awesome. It's really going to transform that whole area. It really is.